seven more days there's only seven more days until christmas so when honor of christmas come up today i'm going to finally be dropping my six seven demigod guard build the best guard build in the game you guys have been asking me to drop this video on my build for a while now today i'm finally showing you guys the build but you have also been asking for my dribble moves and my jump shot if you guys get this video to 3,000 likes i will drop my jump shot as soon as this video hits 3,000 likes and then i'll also drop the dribble moves soon after that now since a lot of you guys that are watching this video are new to next gen i just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the city now if you're a little timmy odds are you're gonna get lost a few times in the city but that's okay it's a little a bit embarrassing the city's big but you'll get used to it little timmy but yeah i've been playing this game for almost two months now i know everything about the my player builder badges and more and i'm gonna tell you guys everything that i know so that you guys can make the best build possible when you finally hop on the game or if you already have the game i'm gonna show you exactly how i made my six seven demigod guard build now if you guys are new make sure to subscribe to the channel i know you guys see how many subs we're at we are so close to 300,000 subscribers i'm trying to hit it before 2021 i need your help please subscribe to the channel and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a stream or upload and drop a like in this video team for 3,000 likes but let's get into it all right so if this is your first time seeing the my player builder i'm sure there's going to be some people that this is their first time seeing the my player builder it's a lot different than it was on current gen like 2k21 or even 2k20 any any game in the past it's a lot different from that and i'm going to show you guys why but for the position of this demigod build for the six seven build you guys want to be a power forward now you guys might be thinking i came here to make a guard build why am i making a power forward well on a guard build this year you can get something like 50 badges total but on a power forward for some reason you get way more badges you'll be able to get a little bit over 80 badges on this build if you make it how i make it trust me you guys are going to see now the hand in this doesn't matter i'm gonna go with righty and jersey number also doesn't matter you can pick whatever you want i'll go with zero now like i said we're only going power forward so that we get the badges so we want to go the shortest height possible so that we get that speed we get that excel boost you guys see all the boosts that we're getting on the right side we lose a lot to like our standing dunk but we don't really need that the default weight is 245 pounds but we're gonna go all the way down to not 210 we're gonna go to 211 because there's really no difference so just go with 211 that's what i did on my build so for the wingspan there's a lot of people that like going max wingspan just that they're a little bit better on defense but for this build i decided to go with 611 on the wingspan you guys can see our potential attributes on the right side 84 ball handle will allow us to get an 86 ball handle once we are a 97 overall because as you guys know the stats on the right side are for your 95 overall player when you get to 96 overall you go up one to all those attributes 97 you go plus two so when you're 99 overall you're gonna have plus four to every attribute there on the right side so you gotta keep that in mind so once we're 97 overall we'll have 86 ball handle which will allow us to quick stop and get some of the faster dribble moves if you do want to get that 86 ball handle off rip like right away you have to go minimum wingspan but i do not recommend that i recommend going with 611 body shape does not matter i go with compact on all my builds and something that you guys need to know this year i don't know why but whatever build you made last your body shape transfers that body shape to all your other players so if you have a center that you made like a week ago say you make this guard and make it like really small like your center is going to be very small i don't know why it's like that or when they're gonna fix it but just so you guys know i figured i'd throw that in the video now we're finally on the attribute screen so we're not gonna touch our close shot because close shot is expensive it takes a lot of attributes so first thing on this build we are going to max out our driving dunk we are also gonna max out our driving layup to 94. Right away, we have three finishing badges. So next, we're gonna put our standing dunk up to a 71 which is max and then post control is going to go up to a 50 which will give us this 13th badge because as you guys see if you go to 49 you have 12 if you go to 50 we get 13 finishing badges also after i show you guys how to make the build i'm going to tell you which badges you should be using and the way that i made this build like there's really no need for like extra badges i made it so that you get the perfect amount of badges for each category so that you're able to get the best badges in the game on your build trust me you'll have enough badges for whatever badges you want for the shooting section we're going to start off by maxing out our mid range to a 95 maxing out our three point to a 90 and then free throw is going to go up to a 75 so don't max it out but look at this we're going to go up to 27 shooting badges if you go down one it's 26 this will give us 27 i know some people that go up to uh 79 free throw to get 28 shooting badges i really wouldn't recommend that because then that hurts your build in some other ways so i i think 27 is enough it's actually probably more than enough now to the playmaking we're going to start off by maxing out our ball handle 
of course to an 84 max out our speed with ball that's very important now pass accuracy is not as important we are going to put this up to a 70 to get us 20 playmaking badges now for the defense slash rebounding category and this is a very important category now i just want to show you guys something if you have never made a build in 2k21 extra and you've never seen a build video for some reason look at this steel is a very expensive category you see we're an 86 overall now look what happens when i upgrade my steel we're already a 93 just by maxing out our steel but look if we go to say max out our defensive rebound which also is going to bring up our offensive rebound we're still an 87 overall steel is a really expensive category and if you upgrade your steel this year like it's going to take a lot of your attribute points away now listen steel is a very good category and when i make my legend build i'm going to have some steel on that build you can't get lane steals like when someone throws a pass across the court you, you can't really get those steals unless you have your steel upgraded but i don't know if steel is really worth it because it takes so many of your attribute points away so especially if you're a beginner or you're new to the game i really wouldn't upgrade steel so offensive rebound is going to go to an 82 we are going to keep our defensive rebound max because rebounding category gives you a lot of badges you guys see we're already at five compared to when we just upgraded steel we only had one defensive badge block we're going to max that out because block is also really important look at this we go from five badges to 17 defensive badges just like that and block is also really important this year on contesting the paint interior defense is not too important this year i would say block is more important and then we're gonna put our steel up to a 29 which will give us 18 defensive badges as you guys can see there now to the physicals we're gonna go with a max speed of 85 our acceleration is also gonna be max which will be 81 strength we are not gonna touch at all vertical we're gonna put up to a 71 and stamina is gonna go to a 91 so that is pretty much how you make this build now i just want to recap a few things this build gets 78 badges there are a few builds that can get like 84 or something like that and i considered those builds but those builds got a lot of playmaking badges and not too many shooting badges i prefer to get more shooting than playmaking i don't know what you guys prefer if you prefer to get like 27 playmaking and only 20 shooting then you can mess around with that but i prefer more shooting so in order to get contact dunks you need an 86 driving dunk this build gets a 94 and at 99 overall it's going to have a 98 driving dunk with the 98 driving layup also all the way down here at the bottom you need a 70 vertical or it's like a 65 some people say it's 70 but we have a 71 so it doesn't really matter you need at least a 70 vertical to get the contact dunk animation so we got that this build will be able to get elite contact dunk also it has a 90 three point shot with a 95 mid range at 99 overall this build gets a 99 mid range with a 94 three pointer this build also has 95 perimeter defense which at 99 overall is going to have a 99 perimeter defense with 18 defensive badges and 27 shooting badges like i, th I think you guys are starting to see it like let me know let me know if you're starting to see it this build is the glitch 84 ball handle i know it's kind of low but trust me you're still going to be able to dribble one thing is that you're not going to be able to quick stop so you have an 86 ball handle which you'll get at 97 overall but like the quick stop that's like an advanced move so like if you're like a beginner like that doesn't really matter too much now i want to talk about my physicals real quick they are a little bit low like compared to some other builds 85 speed 81 excel 91 stamina but something that you guys have to remember is that when you get the gym rat badge you get plus four to all your physicals you get gym rat by either doing the gatorade workouts in the gatorade facility or by hitting superstar three and then when you get 99 overall you also get plus four to all your physicals so when you have the plus four from the gatorade or the gym rat and the 99 overall boost this build gets a 93 speed which is good and a 89 excel with a 99 stamina in the current state of nba 2k21 next gen in my opinion this is hands down the best build in the game like like literally think about it like comment below what can this build not do the real only thing that it can't do is get lane steals but like i said you you gotta sacrifice that because steel takes up way too many attributes now for the takeovers and you guys can change your takeovers once you get all of your badges on your player but this build gets 78 badges so you probably want to make sure that you get the right takeovers because it's going to be a while before you get all your badges the takeovers that i went with was spot of precision which is the best sharp shooting takeover so if you're gonna pick a sharpshooting takeover i know limitless range is like like that's limitless range like it sounds good it's probably the way but trust me I, i've played the game for almost two months spot of precision is the better sharpshooting takeover so i picked that and i also picked finishing moves which 
helps you get contact layups, dunks, and alley-oops. Now, I will say, when I get all my badges, I am going to change my takeovers. I made a mistake. I don't really like these takeovers. And after testing the game for about two months, no doubt the best takeovers are pull up precision. This is the one that's like the shot creating takeover that's gonna help you fade. This badge is literally so glitchy and fading is really OP right now. So if you have this with negative impact, which like lessons can test on your fade, bro, like all of your fades go on. Like I haven't had the opportunity to play with it yet on this build, but trust me, I've seen all their six sevens with these takeovers. Like it's literally unstoppable. So I'd recommend that you go with these two. But again, if you don't wanna go with negative impact, then I would say spot a precision if you are gonna go with one of these sharpshooting ones. So you press A to finish the build, my player build complete. And and it'll pull up this screen you have built a scoring machine with shades of jason tatum pascal siakam and zion williamson three absolute studs in the nba now for the badges and the badges are really important on this build so don't just click off the video don't skip this part trust me i figured out what the best badges are in the game hands down there's a lot of glitchy badges this year and if you're new to the game you probably aren't going to assume that they're glitchy all right so for the finishing badges we get 13 finishing badges i decided to go with hall of fame post riser Hall of Fame Heat Seeker, Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher, and Bronze Fearless Finisher. Now, out of the gate, you guys want to get Hall of Fame Post Riser. Trust me, get this Hall of Fame as soon as you can. Next up, Heat Seeker. This is one of those badges that's a glitch that you probably wouldn't assume is a glitch. If you look at the bottom, gives an additional takeover boost on inside shots. So if you take a close shot, a layup, a dunk with this badge on, your takeover meter literally flies. I think it's something like two dunks with this badge on Hall of Fame and you have takeover. Or maybe it's it's three i don't i don't really know but trust me this is the glitch and then slithery finisher is going to help you avoid contact and fearless finisher helps with contact layups now i'm going to be honest this is the category like i said i can't change my takeovers yet i don't have all my badges this is the only category that i don't have all my badges i do have posterizer though and i do have heat seeker and when i do get all my badges i will put on slithery and fearless finisher now for the shooting badges and this is one of the one, most important the sections of the entire video i'm not really going to read them off to you because like i'm not trying to waste that much time you guys see the badges that i have on i I do want to talk about a few of them though there are some very overpowered shooting badges this year and i'm going to start off by talking about blinders so i have blinders on hall of fame you guys see on the bottom becomes unfazed by defenders from the side this badge is like dead eye like i'm sure you guys know what dead eye is like it's been in the game for a while it helps like lessen contesting your shot this badge is like dead eye but on steroids like this badge is literally insane no doubt you guys need to put this on hall of fame or the highest level possible on whatever build you're on deep threes is like the limitless range badge this year so you know that badge is always going to be important you're gonna to want to get that on the max level hot shot is one of those glitchy badges that i was talking about you guys see in the bottom boost takeover meter after hitting jump shots if you guys are not using a hot shot this year then i don't know what to tell you because literally it's like one jump shot with hot shot on and you almost have takeover you could take like a layup and then you have takeover with hot shot on like it's lit it's it's broken it's literally broken i think it needs to be nerfed honestly but hey while it's overpowered i'm gonna use it especially on hall of fame hot zone hunter you guys know what that is like if you have a hot zone on the court and you have this badge on it's literally like the, the, the ball is going to just go in the hoop like it doesn't really matter how you time it this badge is good every year green machine increases the bonus given for consecutive excellent releases that badge is always good so we have that on hall of fame stop and pops a new badge that i have on like silver tireless shooter just to help me out when i'm tired catch and shoot to help out on a few of those catch and shoot shots obviously and then anti-freeze you guys might be thinking why why is solar running anti-freeze honestly this is a badge that i've been testing recently you guys see in the bottom harder to get cold and lose your takeover progress if you guys like miss a shot to start the game out all of your stats drop and it's like harder to get takeover for that game but with anti-freeze it doesn't let that happen and i honestly don't think a lot of people know about this badge but i have been testing it and i do like running it on bronze now we have 20 playmaking badges for this build you guys see these are the badges that i would normally run handles for days and quick first step like no doubt put that on hall of fame as soon as you can unpluckable is kind of a weird one because you might be able to get away with unpluckable on like silver or gold if you need to sacrifice it for another badge but for now i have it on hall of fame ankle breaker is actually solid this year but this is one of those badges that you don't really need to put on like max level as soon as you can like i'll put it on bronze like when you once you start getting a few badges like once you have like seven badges like throw this on bronze don't really max it out until you get like a lot of your playmaking badges bullet passer is a new badge and this improves a player's ability to quickly pass the ball when you have this badge on the ball literally flies through the air at like 100 miles per hour like trust me you need to put this badge on or else like all of your passes are going to get stolen and then you guys see i have on dimer but look this badge here special delivery 
is a glitch. So I'm just going to take these down a level to put a special delivery on Hall of Fame. If you have special delivery on and you flashy pass it to your teammate and he shoots the shot, say he has hot shot on. If the person that shoots the ball also has hot shot and you're using special delivery, you can literally get team takeover off of one jump shot. If you flashy a pass to your teammate with special delivery it's literally like over if he makes that shot it's so hard for you to lose that game because the person that shot the shot is at least gonna have double takeover if not team takeover and, and it's, it's just broken it, it honestly is now for the defense slash rebounding badges we have 18 badges and this is what i'm currently running hall of fame clamps of course boost the ability to stay in front of the ball handler on the perimeter that's a necessity pick dodger hall of fame i mean it's self-explanatory we're going to use that on hall of fame intimidator we have that on gold which is the max level for this build that's always a good badge intimidates offensive players cause them to miss shots more often and then chase down artist and rim protector are going to be on bronze and honestly you don't really need to put these on a higher level if you're going to put anything on a higher level you can do rim protector but i only have these on bronze because just having them on bronze allows you to get certain like block animations so that's why i have those badges on bronze because they help me with my blocks i put tireless defender on bronze and then rebound chaser on hall of fame honestly if you're going to mess around with your badges at all it would be with rebound chaser because you don't really need it on hall of fame but i wasn't really sure what to put my other badges on ankle braces seem solid but honestly it doesn't seem like it works too effectively as of right now maybe they need to patch it i'm not sure yeah this is what i'm currently running and that is my current badge layout on my 6-7 demigod guard build now that i've shown you guys how to make my demigod guard build let me know in the comments if you're genuine like if you're seriously gonna make this build let me know if you make it in the comments also if you're still watching i want to see who the lawyers are that actually made it all the way through the video because there's going to be a lot of people that just click the video drop a like whatever and click off of it but if you're still watching go in the comments and just comment the words little timmy and put your twitter handle in the same comment i'm going to follow a few loyals back on twitter if you want to follow me on twitter my twitter is at yt underscore solo matter of fact i'm gonna just throw up a bunch of my socials you guys can follow my instagram my twitch my twitter whatever you guys want to follow i'm really active on all my socials and i have been streaming on twitch as well but yeah that's it for the build video like i said 3,000 likes and i'm gonna be dropping my jump shot video as soon as possible and then after that i will drop my dribble moves with a dribble tutorial also just to mention i have a bunch of bangers planned that will be coming after christmas like a hide and seek video badge wars i have a bunch of other creative ideas that will be dropping soon so stay tuned for that if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the next